Welcome everybody. I am Headwound and this is In Game with SimCity 2013. This is episode number 16 and this is our Amusement Park City. This is a very special episode as in we are doing our first Twitch live broadcast. Hoping to get some people here so, you know, we can start growing the channel and, you know, get people more familiar with what we do here and you know, just keeping things real. All right, so I can see that I am broadcasting, so I'm going to stop using up my own bandwidth and get right to it. And in our city, we had already created the base for our city. We've got some residential gone down. We've got our, um, our uh, gosh, we've got our commercial, we've got our industrial. We've got our sewage, our recycling, and our trade center, our town hall. We've got our normal services like f police, fire, and the clinic. And we've got the first amusement park city right here. And it is earning a profit. Now we're going to go ahead and start up the time again. And we're just going to take a look and see how things are going. Our city is growing. We did the last episode, we were at around 3,400, but this time we're at 7,100. So we, I know that we've got a city upgrade that is available. There we go. And again, we're still looking for a name for this city. Now we're basing this, hopefully, we will take this off the economy of the the trade depot and the recycling center. I don't think that's going to bring a lot to us. Um, this is more of just a little bit of a helper. In fact, it isn't even in. It's not even bringing in a ton of alloy a day. So really, it's not growing that tremendously. I've upgraded our roads. Dog, dog. So now we're dealing with medium density of streets. We don't need the high density just yet. I see we've got some traffic rolling right here. And I think that all these people are just waiting to turn into the residential area. I was thinking about expanding this and actually giving an offshoot right here. In fact, we're going to give that a try because I want to be able to at least grow this a little bit and perhaps getting people to come in here first and if they need to like what I'll do is I will just bulldoze one section of this oh it's a pond of course I did put the ponds at the corner so that they would have some effect on the town, but this time we're going to kill this one. And we're going to lay down a pond on the other side of the road right here to affect everybody within that area. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to force anybody around this area. So, only the, the only people who are going to really want to go this way are the people who want to take this kind of direction as the shortest path. Otherwise, they're going to come over here to get in this direction. We might want to actually create another one over here, but for right now the traffic looks pretty decent. I mean, nothing really going on right there. We do have a little bit of a backlog getting into our city and getting in this area. Um, right now, not really worried about it. Oh, so last time we joined in, I did notice something. Uh, uh, our previous episodes we had started up our arcology in this area, our great works, and we were successful using our two directions city. And the two directions, if you haven't seen the videos, is a city that only has one road. So it is not an interconnecting road, there's not offshoots to the road, it's one road that winds throughout the entire the city and then comes back and reconnects. So there'll be two directions that you can actually go, but ultimately there's just one road and no offshoots of it. And it was success it 
completely successful city, a little bit less than 100,000 people. Uh, we put it up in a, an area where there was a lot of water and a lot of things that you had to kind of create bridges over, so we didn't, it's not a big city. But just saying, you know, even with a small city like this, and the, I consider this small, we were able to create an arcology. Now, it looks like either uh, Kimi Baby or who was this? Oh, I forget this this gentleman's name. But uh, oop, uh, it looks like somebody started the arcology over here. They probably got the million simoleons and they just started it up, and we're just working from there. Let's take a look at our hourly. Now we're making really good money off our amusement park. We're paying back our bonds. In fact, we've got two of them paid back already. We had taken out the hundred, th uh, three of these, all in a hundred thousand, and we're slowly bringing it back. In fact, our city has grown enough where it's actually its primary income is actually making money. So we're making pretty good money. So pretty soon we should have enough money for us to be able to create our second amusement park. But let's take a quick look at this amusement park and see how we are doing. I'm going to keep the time going pretty quickly. Now the day before we had 616 visitors. Uh, this time we got 636. Now I want to make sure and darn it I didn't do it and that's a mista uh, mistake on my part. I realize this is a pretty small area, I mean a big area that's got not much used. So what we're going to do is we're going to reduce this area size probably to about right here because there's other things that I want to be able to put in our city. And guys, if you think of a name for our city, please, you know, post it in the comments, suggest the name for the city that you want and we'll make it so. Okay, so now we've got our mayor house that's now available to us and I like the idea of making it right here because it's not going to impede really much the, tra the traffic. They'll come down and they'll still be able to make this right turn without having to stop. Uh, well, I think they still have to stop, but anyways. But I'm going to put it over on this side right here. Okay, so they're now hiring. Good. And let's go ahead and bulldoze these roads right here, and we'll just reconstruct them. All right, that's terrific. Oh, it looks like I was recording a local movie, and so I was a little bit laggy right there. Now it should be fine. We should have some speed up. Yeah, we have an issue with these damn we've some other city sent over a arsonist and this guy is just wreaking havoc in our city just wreaking havoc this is hating it hating it i mean there's oh goodness 4 to 32 people is it full oh it is full ooh okay so we're going to we need to expand this out. So let's go ahead and do that. And oh, let's see, fires. One building burning down per day. We've got two fire trucks in service. Oh man, I want to catch this arsonist. Now, what's our? Okay, so our police are doing their job. Okay, let's get this road down. Again, we're going to put down an avenue because we don't want to have to rebuild it. And I'm going to put it, uh, let's see, about right here. Looks about right. That should give me enough road. Go ahead and bulldoze this. And I do want to put a train station. I want the train station to be right here, but I also want to bring in an airport. So let's take a look at the travel pl 
Plains Airport. OK, so this is going to be absolutely perfect. We have a beautiful big area in here. Um, doesn't look like we can put it on this side, but this is the farthest down that we can make it. And then what I'll do is I'll build my raid rail and have it come over and connect over in that area. That will take it out of the way of, you know, everything else. But it's telling me it's the train's too steep. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to put it down here. I'll do something creative with the with the rail. Let's see how far I can get before it. See, now it's not doing it. It's gonna let me put it down. Okay. I'm putting it down before it changes its mind. Okay, that is awesome. How much is our trains? We're gonna be able to bring our train in. Our train depot, uh, passenger train depot, and a German high speed. They both hold 500 sims, but the high speed train is actually more expensive. Is this gonna be able to plop down? must plop on a snap point, which means it's the rail itself, and then I gotta drag a road from there. So I don't want to block off this, so I'm gonna go ahead and build this out to right here. That should give us enough. And then we can plop this down, and I can make an intersection that just, just hits it off right there. Oh, I've got to wait till my simoleons build up. We're at 40, uh, cost 40,000. We're at 22. We're making good money. I'm not worried about, you know, making enough money for that. And as soon as we start seeing flights come in, we'll probably add another rail, uh, a runway. We're going to add some more parks and trees. I can already see that there are cars coming in and out of the airport. And there's a plane that has just landed. So let's go ahead and put in a park and ride and also a bus stop in front of here because, you know, that's neat. And plus, the, the park and ride actually has a built in. Okay, so we've got it on that side of the street. I think that's just fine. I'm going to put one right next to it. And let's go ahead and put some ponds right next to here. We want to kind of keep our our values and you can see how it has drained or taken the value of this area and really decreased it. Now I'm going to hide one in the corner over here and one over here. Okay, that's not bad. And our areas are okay. It looks like we need something right here just to kind of bump up that. We're having an issue in this area. I want to make sure that we're not going to blow out a building. So I'm going to put this right here. That should increase the values here. I'll put one right in. Oh, it looks like we're going to end up trashing somebody's place. But I'd rather put it in the corner and have it, you know, successfully go into other areas. And I'm going to put one right here. Okay, it looks like again we're going to affect the growth in that area. So we're going to put it right here. And we'll have a nice coverage. Not too much, not too little. We might be able to fit one right in here to kind of bridge those areas. Yeah, that's terrific. I'm sad that this one's not affecting this more. Uh, let's see if we plop down another one if that... Okay, it's it's raised up, but it still hasn't raised that one tiny area. I'm going to put one right here, see if that fits. It's not... I'm going to see if I can put a long one. No, it looks like it's going to affect it no matter what. And these are also... Okay, so let's put it well I think I'm actually gonna put it right here. Yeah. So we've seen some good some good growth. Not too bad. 
I'm going to go ahead and bulldoze some of these issued homes with issues. Uh, abandoned. Too much crime. Too much crime. Okay. That might be too due to the education that I don't have right now. All right, let's go ahead and put our train in. This will allow us to increase everything. Okay, and again, we're going to put it right here. We're going to run our connective road. And we're going to go ahead and just, you know, it's cheap right there. There's our connected avenue, so we don't have to worry about it. They're going to come over this way. We'll be able to get on and off the train. So we need 85000 for our next amusement park. And that was part of our tourist system here, attractions. Okay, so now this is what we need to actually need to meet. We need a Department of Tourism. And I don't think that we've got one in our area. So we're going to go ahead and see. We need 15,000 residents in our city to upgrade. Which will then... Oh, wait, no, I can put it in now. Um, Department of Tourism. There we go. I'm going to put in a little nice sign for everybody to know that this is what we're doing. And let's take a look and see if we now it's interesting. We've met it, but it hasn't added it to us. Progress towards next upgrade. Does this mean that I can only put one amusement park in my city at any one point? It's kind of a disappointment. I really thought that I was going to be able to, you know, have multiple amusement parks in the city, which would have been really cool. Now we've got other things that we can put in once we upgrade to the next level. Oh, I love these. I love the fact that you can, they're totally free. You can put 20 of them down, and, you know, everybody's happy. Let's see how things are. Uh, yesterday, we actually lost money yesterday, which is interesting. I don't know how it can lose... The number of tourists that we can stick in there is 940. Okay, let's see if we've got a bus stop in front. Yeah, we do. We've got a bus stop in front. I know. Why don't we do this? Uh, we've got a park and ride right here. It is doing okay. It's doing all right. What I think I'd like to do is put in a rail system so that people and put a stop right here. So if I put in a streetcar, I have 500 tourists in the amusement park. Nice. So we met that goal. Ah, 10,000 Somalians, not too bad. Okay, and let's see how much is the wait. No wait time. Tourists for the day is 120. Ooh, that's a little bit of a wait. I don't know if that we can actually improve that. I don't think we can. There's no way to like add unless you add like another place. Okay, so we need to upgrade our roads so that we can have streetcars. So we're gonna increase this to a streetcar way and what we will do is put 
the streetcar depot right over here, I believe. Okay. And then we can have it just loop around. Or, let's see. I want to bring them from the airport. Now, supposedly, they've reworked the mechanics of the streetcars so that, you know, things become more efficient. What's this say? Okay. No. We are not going to turn our city into an evil city. Sorry, guys. You know, I know that you guys are disappointed with that, but no. Not going to do it. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and plop down the streetcar depot. And we're going to put it right here. Right at the beginning of the track. Okay, and let's put the streetcar stations. We're going to put one right in front of City Hall. We're going to put one right before the turn off. Right in front of there. Another one in front of here. And I think now that if this is true that we can't put down... What is this? I got something else. Oh, okay. Is, what are you talking about? Okay, well, they want us to... Now, we're hitting an area where we might get ourselves in trouble unless we put down another... another one of these guys. So we'll put down that... I should increase the coverage. And, oh, 24 tons a day. Okay. Well, let's see, are we making any money from the alloys? Amusement park? No, we're not making any money from the alloys, which is really kind of interesting. Global delivery. Oh, we're using locally. I gotta export. I gotta export. That way I can actually make some money. Yeah, if we wanted to actually take the alloy and send it to the arcology, that's one thing. But, you know. Let's see. Closed night crew cleaning. Okay, so yesterday we did make a profit from there. Okay. So we need to start bringing in some more tourists. Tourists arrives, arrivals today, 40. 40 tourists have arrived today. That's not very many. Let's take a look. Attractions. Limit reached. Gosh, guys, I'm really disappointed with that. This is really disappointed. Okay, since we can't do that, I'm going to start filling this up with residential. Just the whole thing. And we're going to put a whole bunch of big, really big houses in here. And I think what we'll do is we'll do a residential and a commercial. And just see how that works and then maybe if we expand into you know bigger areas then we'll go from there now how big the buildings are okay so I've got now this is how I am able to determine how I want to build these out because see how far this this dark blue line comes out right here I know that if I build a road that's too close to this mark, then this area won't be able to grow enough. So I'm going to do this. And this is going to allow that to grow. We're going to put in 
an area over here. Okay, and now, you know what, we're going to go ahead and use, it It actually gave me some guidelines. Um, for right now, sure, I'm going to use these guidelines. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. Let me, let me get this off of there. One. Oh, why did I do that? Okay, um, on mark, mark from here, over here. That doesn't look right. It looks like it's actually too far out. So we're going to put it right here. We're going to put the buildings only on one side. Okay, actually it looks like I mean, these might actually fit over here. So we're going to go ahead and fit this. Yeah, it looks like it only goes halfway, so I think we're okay for this side. This one we're going to only leave like this. That will give a good amount of growth. We're going to set down some residential here, residential here, set down the full set of residential on, actually you know what, there you go, full thing, full thing, full thing, and then we'll worry about it later, what's going to happen to that. So, and the commercial should satisfy the, the need for jobs and also the need to have somewhere to shop. So we won't really need the industrial, hopefully. And this should grow our city nicely. Okay. Now we're still... How's our fire services doing? We've got three buildings burning down each day. I don't want them to have to go out to get over here, so I'm going to put another... I'm going to put a large... Uh, let's see, how much is this per hour? 1700 Okay. Large station exactly right across from this guy. There we go. We've got that down and in place. Let's go ahead and put up a sign, make everything really nice, and a flag. Well, flags always look cool. We are going to put up a dispatch tower and I like the idea of fire marshals because fire marshals are going to send people out to visit your homes and hopefully prevent you know stupid people from you know burning down their place and everybody else so here we go okay let's go ahead and clear up I know that we've got a couple Ooh, we've got a, a lot of them actually okay that basically tells me in some type of educational system, so, which will increase the satisfaction of our city. So we are going to go ahead and put down well, gosh, I really wish somebody didn't had not put down the great works because we could have done a research project for solar and then created the solar great works but it's kind of you know pointless at this point so I'm going to put down a high school I need 60,000 simoleons in order to do that so I'm not exactly ready and yeah see they just keep on screaming you know we need the educated people we need the educated people yada 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 how many visitors did we get? Uh, oh, we made a nice sum yesterday. 20. Oh, look at this. An upgrade time. Nice. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before we do that. Hey, 
Okay. Let's grow the amusement park some more and make sure they have plenty of concession stands. People are literally eating that stuff up. Okay, so we are doing excellent. We've got two more, no, three more of these type rides that we can put in the, into our area. We can put up another four. Oh, and look at this. We can put up a second roller coaster? Oh, we can put up go-karts. Oh, these are awesome. Main attractions. Oh, so I could, okay. So now I'm not as disappointed anymore. Uh, we can put in another gate. Okay. Oh, look. Okay. This is unexpected. I thought it was going to be a lot smaller than this, but it looks like we're going to have a massive area that we can work with. So I think what we're going to do, maybe I can make one amusement park entrance over here and then span it this way, although it's going to be really close to this. So they might not be so happy. I can take the service entrance for this road and put it off to the side. Oh, we've got another city upgrade. Let's take a look. Upgrade, sure. Nice. Okay. Okay. Yep. We're sending our students off to somewhere else. That's perfectly, I'm totally cool with that. I'm going to route this road this way, bring it back, and cut off all ties to the rest of the world this way, and this way. That way it goes around. I'm not worried about that at all. We've got more. Looks like we had a rapid fire occur in this area. Go ahead and clear out these homes. Some good workers, some good workers. We've got 65,000 right now. I'm going to use that. Actually, you know what? We don't really need this road now. Since the road that's actually supplied... Okay. Uh, nope. I'm gonna do it all the way up to here, because our house is here. That's nice. That's really cool. Now I can put another amusement, uh, something else, like a ride, on the outside of that. See, I really wonder, can I put an entrance on this side heading this way? Because that would really be something. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, i got to go in here. That's right. Okay. And the entrance to our place is right here. Oh, we've got two types of gates. Three types of gates. <gasps> Are you kidding me? Does this mean that we can put it in, but it's just another entrance to another type of park? Okay. Um, which one do I have here now? I have the fun, sh the fun shine, which is this one. Let's go ahead and put the thrill one over here. Okay, look at this, guys. We can do it. So even though technically we didn't open another park, we have the ability to, you know, put it in. Okay, so now the way that we did this is we took it out and I like the idea of taking people around. So maybe I can put the the ride over here. Oh, that's perfect. But do I want no, I want this guy. 
bring them into the park, get them right here, two main attractions. We're going to go ahead and put down this guy in here. I might have to rethink it because I had put a whole bunch of these little fountain seats on the other side, but we're really going to need them over on this side also. Okay, now we've got that down. We need some secondary rides, so when people are bored of this one, when they start walking back, they're going to hit the other rides. And how many do we get? We get three. Oh, I like that ride. I'm going to put it over here. Okay, we need some more money, but I am going to put a snack cart right here. And this will kind of keep them so when they're done with this one and they go to this one, they're going to catch a little snack and they'll go, oh, hey, you know what, I'm in the mood to do some more. So they'll have you know, some more energy to, oh, I love the Buccaneer type ride. Those are awesome. Okay, I'm going to put it right in front of this guy right here. That is perfect. Okay. Yeah, this is working out. Oh, I got people. I can hear the fire. I can hear people screaming and burning and having a terrible time. And holy cow, that's never good. All right. Okay, so we've got this down. We have need to put another snack. One over. No, not a snack. Uh, popcorn. People love popcorn. And we'll put this concession stand right here. And guys, we're heading towards our time limit for this live broadcast and recording. So we found out some things interesting. We found out that you can't automatically set down um, more than one attraction. But you can set down an original attraction and then add the entrances for at least one more attraction or amusement area. So now that we, we've got this, we've got one on one side, one on the other. And let's go ahead and take care of, oh, okay, so we need, we need a proper hospital. I'm going to put the hospital again, you know, Kind of across the oh, we need simoleons. How much is this thing? 120,000. Holy mackerel! I mean, oh, you know what? I'm not gonna wait. We need we need it right now. Take out a loan, plop it down, start you know, making people happy. Uh, let's see. Uh, we're doing fine, I think. What I just need is I need more patrol cars. Oh, we need a sign. Cool. I put down a sign. And the reason that I'd like... Is that two police cars? That's two police cars. Oh, 11 crimes a day. Okay, we really need to bump this up. The reason I like the French police station over the standard police station is because of... It says, Zippy Patrol Cars, respond to crimes, you know. And it seems that they actually respond quicker to, quiet, to crimes. So that's a total, total bonus. All right, well, looks like we are doing okay here. Ah, they're losing some money. Oh, actually, that's right. They're considered one and the same. So uh, let's see what we've got for our transportation our buses. We've got a bus stop on that side. We don't have one on this side. So let's go ahead and put that on this side. We're going to go ahead and start adding bus stops to this area. Right across from all the major places. Uh, across from fire. Across from residential. And on these side streets, 
Now I gotta check the wait time on these, because if they're too long, we might get into trouble. Okay, so bus terminal. Now the bus terminal will bring buses from outside the city. And what do we got here? We got a streetcar depot, and we got one park and ride. So I think I'm going to put the bus depot like right here. That might be a beneficial place right here. So we're just going to wait until we get some more money. How much is this per hour that I'm spending? Ooh, that's going to come close. That is going to come close. Oh, but this is what we want. We want to be able to fill it with twice the number of riders for one bus. That makes the less number of buses that we have to have in this area. I'm also thinking about making a connection over right here between these two road areas. That will kind of free up. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and do that right now with this. This is going to free up a lot of the traffic that's coming back out of this road to come over here. So there you go, that's a lot better. And again, I think I'm going to take out another loan. Yeah, I'm going to take out another loan. We just want to we just want to get some of these stuff into the city so we can build things up. We want the double decker right here or maybe right here this is nice and that it would be out of the way and it would continue that traffic all the way down here so we don't have to worry about it and I still need to put in I just still need to put in okay so it hasn't started you know calculating bus times and things of that nature we still need to put in our our school. Sorry, threw a blank right there for a second. And I think this is a nice area right here. Yeah, this is nice right here. Yeah, that way the, they can come this back way to get to the other school right here. And I'm going to place it so it is on this side street. I don't want to place it too close to the corner because people will coming out will be too close to it. Well, that's nice. Okay, so we've got some residential growth. I'm going to go ahead and put some more. Oh, wait a minute. I did not want it right there, but that's okay. We've put it down, and that's where it's going to be. I'm going to put one at each one of these corners. We're not going to miss any student. Look at these people, they're ecstatic. They are so damn happy. They are getting everything that they wanted in life. An education, you know, at the Lama School. Okay. And I think we're doing just fine. We are still growing. We're at 19,000 people, and we need 30,000 for our next upgrade. We are making money with our two entrances. Let's see how trade is going. Are we making anything from alloys and things of that nature? It sure doesn't seem like it. I mean, we've got one delivery truck. Okay, let's take a look at trade. Oh no. Okay, so we did. Look at that. We made 36,000 in trade from the alloys. So, that's a day. This is per hour. Okay, so 14 84 16 8 16 8 uh oh, that didn't sound too good. 16, 8, and 
so we're probably making 15,000 over what the cost is for the trade depot and everything else so where was that explosion there it is holy cow building fire disaster disaster building fire building fire unskilled workers well that should change pretty soon that should change pretty soon building fire and too much crime Oh, yeah, the jails are full. Um, okay, so we're going to increase and add a ground floor. We're going to add one more car, a uh, set of cars, I should say. How are these guys doing? Students, 220 in the classroom. Awesome. We've got one fire truck. Oh. Gosh, I keep getting distracted from these things. Yes. And we don't have enough. Oh, and we're losing money. Okay, well. Alright, guys. Well, this is our amusement park city. We've got two sets of, well, two entrances into two sets of amusement parks. We've got a airport. We've got a train depot. We've got a double-decker bus terminal. We are slowly growing the city. We're at 21,000, almost 22,000 people in our city. We've got a nice big residential area. I have a feeling that when we upgrade, in fact, let's see how happy people are. Here we go. Okay, we've got some people who are ready to do their upgrades. Uh, these guys definitely are ready for an upgrade. So I'll have to upgrade those roads to high. Let's take a look at financially. Oh, see, this is not good. This is all like poor people and they don't really care about the environment and they don't really care about anything. And we've got a decent kind of a mid to medium wealth area going on over here. And of course our little lowly you know, house over there. But things are doing all right. Our industrial map doing okay. Our commercial is doing all right. Our residential, this is pretty dense. That's good. Our electricity, how are we feeding everybody with power? Everybody has enough power. Let's go ahead and take a quick look real quick. We have 353 megawatts via the region. We don't care about supplying that at all. 316, you know, in water. We've got 414 in sewage. We do not have to worry about those types of things at all. Now, I do need to add another recycling truck because we're kind of, we're not collecting as much recycling as we should and that will actually add to the profit of our city. So the next time we come back, we will upgrade and hopefully we can end up in the positive with the more people that we get. We'll put some uh, positive park areas in this which will, oh that's such a great view. Look at that view. So we'll put in some parks get things starting to upgrade, uh, start getting, uh, we'll put the extra recycling truck in there, get things starting to work. I am Headwound, this is In Game with SimCity 2013, this is episode number 16. If you like any part of this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, visit us on twitch.tv slash gamesmarktv if you'd like to receive notifications of live broadcasts. And visit us at facebook.com slash gamesmarktv if you'd like to receive notifications of new videos coming out. And we'll see you next time.